Jeff Schneider, and today we're going to talk about how to play blues a lot better. Let's start with the tune Tenor Madness by Sonny Rollins. It goes like this. And we're going to pause right there because all the information is in those notes. But before we go any further, let's talk about the chords. So Tenor Madness is in the key of B flat. It's a B flat blues. So the first chord is going to be B flat seven. It sounds like this. In the next measure, we're gonna to go to E flat seven. It sounds like this. All right, now let's take a close look at the melody. That first measure, real slow. The next measure sounds like this. Whoa, what just happened? So what changed? It went from a D to a D flat, but why? Well, the reason is because the chords go from B flat seven to E flat seven. And an E flat seven doesn't have a D in it. It has a D flat. And you guessed it. Well, that's great for you. Now that you understand the, uh, the principle here, you want to try to make up your own melodies and your own little riffs that play through the changes. That's the important thing here. We're playing through the changes. We're not just arpeggiating chords like... That's playing very vertically. We want to play a little bit more horizontally. Something like this. It's a great way to start. Real simple. You could even just go from the D to the D flat. So we're taking an idea and we're playing it through the changes. And I'm going to talk more about this in future videos, but it's a great way to learn the blues and get out of that blues scale mentality where you're just playing the same notes over and over again. Because that can sound good, but you're going to sound great if you're really outlining the chords melodically. So I'll do a couple more examples. make sense? If you have questions, please comment below. If you have comments, please comment below. And um, uh, let's see, I'll do a couple more. Why not? I'll do a couple more examples here. Same idea. We're stringing an idea along here, giving the listener something to hold on to, to grasp onto, and uh, also outlining the changes. It sounds really mature, Sounds a lot more mature and advanced than just playing blues scale over and over again. Because the blues scale just has the, uh, the D flat in it. You're going to be playing this sound over and over again. Versus. So that time I made use of the D going to a D flat. All right, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed the video. There's going to be more, so please subscribe, and thanks for watching. I'm Jeff Schneider.